Hi, my name is Dave Nielsen from Cloud Camp. I'm here with Lynn, a developer evangelist out of Southern California. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we run into each other all over the place at Cloud Camps and Code Camps, and most recently at Strata, mm -hmm. where we also ran into a bunch of data scientists. My kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, most of the people were talking about big data. Yep. But why don't you tell us what data is, big data is? Well, you know, you've got apps sitting out here, and you've got some sort of client interface, and those apps generally are going to have data coming in. That data can be on-premise, or as the data gets larger and larger and larger, it might be on the cloud, and that's Azure. That's all it is. Got it. Okay. And so that's massive amounts of data. Mm -hmm. We call it big data mm -hmm. is one way to refer yep. to it. What are some examples of big data? Well, it's stuff that we see in our everyday lives, like grocery store barco barcode scans, um, weather satellite data, um, just all the credit card data, all the activities that we do. Right, and so like with the grocery store, store example, mm -hmm. you've got massive amounts of purchases mm -hmm. that are being gathered and analyzed to try to figure out what coupon to give you as you check out, yeah. and that kind of thing. So just millions of records, sometimes uh, even petabytes of data. That's right. Great, so um, how does a developer or data scientist mm -hmm. uh, actually use data in the cloud? Uh, well, on Azure, you have a couple different choices. The first one I'm going to talk about is SQL Azure. And what that basically is is SQL Server that's, right. that's hosted on the Azure infrastructure. So you can think of each one of these as a SQL Server instance with databases on it. And um, it's really super easy to spin this up. You just use our Management Studio tool or Visual Studio. So it's just click, 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 and you can scale it out. And so if you need to process massive amounts of data, you can just spin up multiple instances of SQL Server mm -hmm. and having them all run. Yep, and that's it. Turn them it. off when you're done. That's it. Oh, that's easy. Now, a lot of people also talk about NoSQL. Mm -hmm. What is the relationship between NoSQL and big data? Yeah, a lot of people are really confused about that because we've got the relational offering, which they're comfortable with and familiar with. And in the NoSQL area, which is non-relational, think of it as a huge, flat, almost like a spreadsheet, a table. What we have there is Windows, Azure, tables. So Got they're non-relational. You can think of it like social media where you're just dumping a bunch of data in. You don't want any latency. You right. got to see that Twitter status. But you don't really care about transactional consistency. So you just want to dump it in, yep. and then you want to read it out. And so it might be completely denormalized yep. just for displaying on the web page. Yeah, and a lot of customers are using a combination of the NoSQL, Windows, Azure, tables, and SQL, Azure. Yeah, I've heard NoSQL referred to as uh, no SQL, and then I've recently heard more people referring to it more as not only SQL, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play nice, right? Because yeah. you need them both. Uh, so uh, where does, uh, where do you go to get tools to play around with this kind of stuff? Like what else is out there? Uh, well, in addition to working with all of our existing tools, we have the Windows Azure data market already out, and that's a place to host these big data sets, like medical data sets, weather data sets. They can be free for scientific research, or they can be commercial. So if companies want to put their data set out there, it's part of our service offering. Okay, got it. And is there, there was something else we were talking about earlier. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah, we've got um, some business intelligence stuff coming out in beta. We've got a limited beta of reporting services. So you can scale out the rendering of your reports. So if somebody's hitting all that data like a customer or something, you can just spin up some more instances for that. Oh, right. With all that data mm -hmm. to display it, you need a lot of power. Yeah. Great. So, um, so where does a developer or a data scientist go to get started with big data? So to try out the cloud for free for 30 days, they want to go to Windows Azure Pass dot com, and then they want to use. That's right, and then we got a special code, Dave on Azure, for them to get going to get started yep. for 30 days for free. Cool. Okay, well, thank you very much, Lynn, and thank you for joining us on Dave on Azure.